Hey guys, welcome back. This is Don't Just Clear Gaming. Back with Life is Strange. We just received a text message from. I actually, for a second, thought it says winter is coming, but. Never mind. I look so pathetic. <laughs> I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. So, uh, we received a text message that said, of course, that our accusations against this rich prick were false. Oh, I can lie down. Yeah, that. No, I'm supposed to meet Warren. Don't you <sighs> it feels so nice to just relax. This day has been so damn bizarre, and it feels like it has gone on forever. Yeah, maybe that's... I'll just wake up now and find out I was dreaming all of this, or like Poe said, a dream within a dream. If you keep rewinding time, then. Of course you feel like the day lasts forever. By the way, she seems pretty cool considering that she just discovered that she can turn back time. It's hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. It's your special day. We love you. Your mother and father, seriously? Which mother and father would write you like with a letter U? Hipster father and mother probably. Okay, let's let's grab uh, the flash drive wherever that is. Can I water the plant? Oh yes. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. Yeah, you and me both. Oh. But this action will have consequences? Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Oh. Okay. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Right. Let's look in the mirror. Oh! Mirror selfie. Oh, I actually got a trophy for that. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. What the fuck is Welcome going on? Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Let me out, Juliet. This is so stupid. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. You are ridiculous. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Oh, ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Oh... Uh, I actually don't uh, know. Juliet Mason. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. Close enough. Hey, Juliet. Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in. Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Uh, of course I do. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. Would Dana do that? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. 
According to Victoria. Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary mm -hmm. won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. But I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. Oh, God. <laughs> oh my god, that is brilliant. Okay, Victoria's room. Which room is Victoria's room? Why is there a toilet? Okay, there's... Okay, never mind. I can help Dana and check out Victoria's ah, Victoria's room to find out room. if she is the kind of person I hope she's not. Right. Dior. I hear Givenchy. someone coming. You could pay for my tuition with that wardrobe. Yeah, I hate such people. Victoria is a real Jefferson groupie. Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? How insecure. Hmm. That's real nice, Victoria. And who the hell thinks I'm a hipster? I do. Boom. This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. I totally punked Juliet and Dana just now. Okay. How do I print that? Print email. Where was the printer? Oh, over here. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. And get out of here. Right. Uh, no! 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 Seriously, one wrong button press and everything's <gasps> messed up. Juliet, read this. Horse. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No. But I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Victoria is not nice. I don't get it. She has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. I'm in it, and Victoria creeps me out. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though Warren obviously likes hanging with you. He's a good guy. A geek like me. You saw the files in his flash drive. Tons of crazy shit. Films I've never even heard of. And in a special folder called Max. What? Yeah, okay. I gotcha. Okay, now I do need to take a look at that flash drive. I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. <laughs> I have my self-respect. And holy obscenities, it says. Okay. But I can't read anything of that. Or open the files. Mm, too bad. Right, where was the exit? Yeah, 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 I'm coming.
Exit. Yeah, there, where it says Exit. Right. Fuck this shit. Ow. Damn, I better rewind. Ah, okay. What do I do? Do I do I talk to him? Get lost, hipster. Fuck nope. this shit. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. And oh, was that Victoria's room? What? Hi, whore. Hope you enjoyed the pick. It's your last one. Shut the fuck up. Max, that was awesome. Thank you. No problem. You have quick reflexes. Years of mad dodging skills. Bullies never change. That's why you're better off. You're smart. We should hang out more. Now I have to finish this stupid book. Okay. So, parking lot was over here somewhere. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything oh. here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. What the fuck is wrong with everyone there? Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Ah. Uh, I should have stepped in between Kate and Let David. me rewind this. That asshole was so over the line. I could rewind and try something different. And fuck up anyway. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. I just thought it would be better to have proof this time. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying hey, them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. I mean, seriously, oh, Max, it's... That was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. It's not like there is a right decision. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. Maybe I should rewind and mind my own business? Or maybe you should make up your mind for once. The music's really nice though. I really love that it, um, the limited edition came with a soundtrack. Okay, so before we hand over the flash drive, I'm going to take a quick break. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.